Samarian has criticized a move by a U.S. bank to close accounts of money transfer companies, warning it could create a dangerous black market. Merchants Bank of California handles about 80% of money transfers, remittances, from the U.S. to Somalia, worth about dollars 200 pounds 131 m annually. But it announced on Thursday that it had to withdraw its services due to new money laundering regulations. Regulators are concerned that money is being funneled to extremists. But the Somali government has warned that suspending legal transfer services may give rise to a new unregulated black market in cash transfers that could make it easier to channel money to militant groups. It also expressed concern that the move would jeopardize stability in Somalia and the welfare of millions of Somalis who depend on financial assistance from abroad. Total annual remittances to Somalia are estimated at $1.6 bn pounds 1 bn. Lifeblood for Somalis Nicholas K, the United Nations Special Representative for Somalia, said the remittances were a survival mechanism for Somali families. They are the lifeblood for many, many Somalis, so from a humanitarian perspective it is clearly worrying if there is a complete stop in remittances, said Mr. K. The Office of the Controller of the Currency OCC a federal regulator told the U.S. bank last year that it found its anti-money laundering procedures inadequate. In the U.S., bank directors are responsible for ensuring all the funds they handle are used for legitimate purposes. The OCC ordered the merchant's bank to determine more exactly the destination of the funds it was wiring. But in a letter to its clients last month, Officials from the bank said they could not meet the regulators' requirements and would have to close their money wiring service, U.S. media reported. Abdullah model, the Somali-born U.S. citizen who lives in California, told the BBC that the local Somali community was baffled by the decision. Nobody knows what to do at this point but everybody's just shocked by that news, he said. I really don't know if anybody sends money to the terrorists or launders money. Most Somalis send the remittances to their families, who are not doing anything wrong in Somalia. In a similar move in 2013, UK banking giant Barclays also sought to cut ties with Somalia by closing the account of leading Somali money transfer operator. Habshi IL. Barclays, which said the move was part of a crackdown on money laundering, eventually agreed to keep the account open so that Habshi IL could find a replacement bank. Somalia does not have a proper banking system and has been in turmoil since the fall of Syed Barry's government in 1991.